G'day and welcome back to North Ball and Repair Cafe YouTube channel. Today's fix is a colour printer, a little um, photo printer from Canon, uh, where I'm changing or attempting to change the, the stripped out plastic nylon um, gear with a brass one. Uh, I've never tried this before, so we'll see how we go and wish me luck. So today's uh, fix is a Canon Selfie CP760 and uh, this is a small um, uh, personal photo printer. Um, the quality of the prints are supposed to be reasonably good. Uh, this was a donation to the Repair Cafe um, some months ago. Um, had a quick look at it and it did appear that it has a stripped gear, nylon gear, that needs to be replaced. So I've uh, sourced a replacement gear from China um, and we'll give it a go. Inside the box here is all the parts hopefully. Uh, show you the device itself. Quite a small printer there, that's my note saying that I've ordered the part. Um, so quite a small little unit memory cards go directly in it and uh, prints out very small um, for, uh, photographs only. The um, side here is where the I guess the print cartridge goes. Uh, this is a multicolor uh, device here that um, that transfers to the photographic paper uh, and it's driven by a gear that's in a motor that's in in the device itself. So we uh, start by disassembling a couple of the covers. Um, I will put a link into a video that I found on YouTube that showed me how to get into this device. Um, and I'll put that in the description below. So we'll first of all, remove the three larger screws. I won't probably explain too much of the details of this. Um, hopefully you can see as we go. Um, these particular um, corner screws are very small, so I've got a quite a skinny screwdriver, a long skinny screwdriver to get down to those. I'm glad it's they're just normal um, cross head screws or Phillips head screws not some security bit. Now these four deep screws are actually holding the top um, panel on and I'll show you in a minute um, that we have to be a bit careful when we take that panel off. There's a ribbon cable or a couple of ribbon cables we need to disconnect. There we go. You can see slight magnet, magnetic um, magnetism on my screwdriver is very useful for getting those long um, deep screws out. All right, so this top cover here unclips and uh, you'll notice a couple of ribbon cables there. So. I'll just disconnect those. This one, it's got a little bit of a clip on it, so I'll um, try and show you. Um, these are quite a common style of um, ribbon cable clip. Just go in as close as I can. Whoops try to show you as best I can. So um, these particular ribbon cables have got a little brown or black um, locking clip there that you just need to, oops, I beg your pardon, these ones need to be uh, slid back. All right, and then pulled out. 
So there you go. Okay, I'll just zoom back out. This carrier is just um, sitting in there now. Those other three screws were the ones holding this in. So I'll just try and, oops. Oh, I beg your pardon, need to take off this front connector, which goes to the fan. And then hopefully we can maneuver this out of the plastic home. There you go. All done. So relatively quick and simple to get to this stage. Um, if you look down the end here, quite a complicated set of um, gears, inter interleaving gears. Um, the motor, motor drives, um, a couple of different motor drives, but the, the one, I'll try and stabilize this for you. Um, and hopefully I can zoom in and you can see the part that I'm trying to repair. This is very blurry, isn't it? We thought we'd get a better image than that. Um, but uh, this white nylon gear here is slightly worn and that meshes onto uh, the gear behind it there. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just replace that with with these oops, brass, or just one of these brass gears. And hopefully it's the right size. All right, so we'll just try and um, lever that gear off very carefully. I don't want to damage any of the other gears that are around it. There we go. Um, there's the old old gear there. A little bit hard to see, but um, uh, actually what I might do is I'll try and get the microscope on that so you can have a closer look. So just um, having a look at this under the microscope, um, it's, look, it's a bit hard for me to hold this steady for you. Enough for you to see that's zoomed right in, but um, it doesn't look you know dramatically damaged um but you can see there's a well you hopefully can see there's a little bit of wear on a couple of these teeth here and um i'm assuming that's enough to cause the problem which was the um the media transfer cartridge not um advancing and um i think it was slipping on that gear so anyway um it doesn't look that bad, does it? So I'll get the new one and put it side by side. There we go, new new brass one, probably shining too much for you to see. Um, put it on its end. Um, so you can see the shape of the gears as they're supposed to be. Um, the plas plastic one's probably a little bit um, hard to see because of the grease on it so uh, let's see oh, not too bad not too bad there you go uh, that might actually be a crack there just looking looking there um, see if I can not sure if I can zoom in any closer there yeah it could actually be cracked that might be the problem there okay um, let's see how we go when we replace this. Okay, so you can see that I've um, pressed the, the brass drive gear onto the shaft of that motor. Um, and uh, just testing now, it appears to be moving okay. Um, probably won't know for sure until we pull, put it all back together again and give it a go. I suspect what was happening with that other gear that it was actually split and uh, when uh, it encountered some load of any sort um, the split uh, released the the hold on the motor shaft and they actually stopped it from spinning uh, so it was really just freewheeling but anyway let's see how we go 
before I um, reassemble, I'll just put a little bit of grease on that wheel, on the gear. And uh, I think for this sort of uh, job, you could use a little bit of Vaseline. Um, I'd, I happen to have some uh, white grease I use for other things like sewing machines and, and the like. So I'm using that instead. So I try and put it back together again now. So I uh, reinstalled those two ribbon cables, uh, the fat ones, the back ones are a little bit tricky um, to get that clip on, um, but it looks like I've lined that up okay, let's see how we go, clip this bit in, and on with those screws. So I was wondering why I, I couldn't get that cartridge in um, this um, part of the printer um, was actually sitting down lower than I expected. There's a little um, little component here that must come down and up and it was sitting down and I couldn't get the cartridge in. Um, so I was struggling a little bit there. Um, what I did is I just briefly put the power on and uh, you could hear all the gears turning and whining and uh, it looked like it, it raised its head um, and made, made it possible to put that uh, cartridge in. So anyway, let's power up. Let's hope everything else is working fine. Um, just zoom back out a little. Oh, no, actually I'll leave it there at the moment. And uh, we'll push there we go. I'm not sure if you can hear all that. Let's see what happens. All right, it, um, it looks to me like it's ready to go. So I'll um, put the paper cartridge in and uh, we'll see if we can send a, or do a print 
test print or something like that. I don't know. Let's have a look. So the paper in these ones, or the, the photo paper, is held in these little cartridges here, uh, which I think just slide in like that. No, maybe you have to flip that open like that. Yep, that looks about right. So I think I think that's installed. Let's have a look. Is there a self? Maybe there's a printer set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't look like it. Alright, I wonder whether we can do a test print somewhere here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, uh, just uh, give me a second. I'll try and find a an image or something that we can print. So that uh, took a little bit longer than I was expecting uh, to set that up. Um, uh, looks like you can only print from uh, memory cards that are formatted for um, cameras. Uh, so then I thought I'd try the USB connection, found the driver doesn't work with Macs on my current version of Mac operating system. So I've got my uh, laptop there, uh, Windows laptop connected. Let's see how we go. So I've got the driver installed, ready to print. I'm going to press print and see what happens. Um, fingers crossed. Oop, there's a noise. Obviously the condition of the toner cartridge or the transfer cartridge is unknown in here at the moment, but um, this didn't get this far before. Whoop, it's taken some paper in. Let's see how we go. Pulled it right through the other side. Okay, in theory it's working. There's a yellow pass. What have I printed, you wonder? Let's see how it goes. Sure if you can see on the screen, but there's um, there's multiple passes. I think you've got a bit of a clue about what I'm printing now. Oops, uh, just move that slightly into the screen there. Well, there you go. Oh, it's going for another pass for some reason. All done. All right, sorry for the glare there. It's a bit of a shiny print job, this one. So there we go. Um, looks like the printer's working. Uh, this is a little logo my son made up for me several years ago. Uh, and uh, it looks like it's printed quite nicely, thank you. Um, all right, well, guess what? Uh, we fixed it and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now. So there's another relatively quick uh, fix. Uh, a little bit tricky getting the device open and um, you know, the cables disconnected and connected again without, uh, you have to be a bit careful with some of those fragile um, components. But uh, in the end, it was a replacement of a nylon gear that had split and uh, was no longer driving the, the print mechanism uh, with a brass one I found, I think maybe $2 from China, maybe a few dollars for postage. Um, took a little while to find the exact size, but um, I'll, if I can uh, find it, I'll, um, if I can find my order, I'll put the details down below in the, uh, in the description. But uh, thanks for joining us on this journey. And uh, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And uh, we'll try to keep the videos coming as, uh, as often as we can find useful or interesting things uh, to show you. Once again, thank you for joining us on the North Ball and Repair Cafe YouTube channel.